Hello, Brother Monroe here. Welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. And today I've actually already built the ship. And patrons of mine will already be familiar with it. It is a Falkland class, aka it's a British Alaska uh, class um, large cruiser, I guess you'd call it, um, which has a few nice features and designed very much to counter things like actually. Uh, let's go two heavy cruisers and a battle cruiser. That might be a bit more interesting. Um, counter things like Deutschland's and Scharnhorst class ships with 11 inch guns. Because the main citadel for this with 12 inch uh, belt, deck, uh, and a little bit more on the guns means that this is very hard for a ship with 11 inch guns to do much damage to. Uh, it pretty much has to get under 8,000 meters to have a reasonable chance of doing anything and if it only has 8 inch guns like most heavy cruisers um, then the 9 inch extended belt uh, and 2 inch extended deck will actually keep that fire out pretty pretty effectively so that is the ship uh, I've tried to make it pretty realistic I've got, only got a regular crew standard quarters um, I've put on a little bit of torpedo protection not as much as you would hope for. Um, I am using Cordite because uh, that uh, keeps interoperability with other ships in the fleet because if you build ships in the 1920s and 30s then you're pretty much stuck with Cordite 3 although I do have access to the better ones um, in 1935. 35.5 knot top speed, decent range, armour that should make it pretty much invulnerable to the types of ships she was designed to fight and those 12 inch guns which should make a mess of well pretty much anything and at 33,000 tons that's a pretty realistic displacement for a ship like this the Alaskas were I think 32,000 something like that so let's let's try I don't know what kind of battle cruiser we'll get. Sometimes the uh, AI does spit out much, much more scary designs than you would you would hope for. And a couple of heavy cruisers. Right, let's go have a look. We have fourteen-inch guns. Okay, that's more of a test for this ship than uh, I would normally expect, but uh, it's fine. I can deal with that. And eight-inch guns. Okay. And they do have a couple of torpedo launchers. So this should be an interesting one. This is a pretty fast maneuverable ship. So we should be able to uh, dictate the battle. Not expecting uh, loads of hits right off the bat. Uh, I've got an idea on the range of those torpedoes. Nine, nine. Okay. So there, there must be fast torpedoes. Can you save ammunition, please, rather than firing into the sea. Cruiser is the target. No hits so far. This is a very, well, depending on propellant types, this is a very vulnerable design because the A turret is very far forward and outside the main belt, and the, uh, well, Y turret here is also outside the main protective area of the ship which is uh, not not your best plan so I think 
try and uh, do as much damage to the battle cruiser as we can. Take out those 14 inch guns. Four deck hit. Damage one of their guns. Okay. We are hurting them though. too close to those heavy cruisers. I do have an idea on where I'm now. See there, we just got hit a bunch of times, but those 14 inch guns, I mean a 12 inch belt is sizable. So you have grass bay, uh, two pounder, eight inch guns, 33.7 knots, so we are faster than the heavy cruisers, that's perfect. Heavy shells, increased ammo for torps. Okay, so we definitely don't want to tangle with them. The Goban, definitely faster than the Battle Cruiser. Chew powder and picric acid, interesting mixture. Uh, standard shells, Bobbit 1, oh dear. That type of hit that we just scored, very dangerous. Now, focus the Battle Cruiser, please. She's the one that can do the most damage to us at the moment. A few bolt kids might be able to flood her out as well. Kill the captain. Nice hit. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I did say. <laughs> the guy that, that that was a vulnerable design. And sure enough, a turret. Boom. Which took out the entire ship. Oh dear, it was probably probably that hit right there. Now, we can focus on the Orion and the Grass Bay. And as long as I stay out of their torpedo range, we should be okay. Because those 8-inch guns are really going to struggle to do much. Oh, hello. Didn't think I'd gone that close. Take some damage from the 14 inch guns. Uh, I did not design the ship to uh, stand up to uh, going toe to toe with a 14 inch ship, but uh, it's not doing too badly actually. Those 8 inch guns are really going to struggle. Flooding hit on the grass bait. Who is just about in torpedo range. And I think it's gonna have trouble getting a lock. It's a chance to pen. 63 point 68, sorry, point three. It's pretty good. It's this chance to pen me. One. <laughs> yeah. Not great. Hello. 
building it. Very nice. Oh shit. They were close enough to fight with the ace. How did I not see that? Ah, sneaky sneaky. But with a fairly maneuverable ship. Torpedoes are not too much of a threat because I can see them coming. Thanks to the hydrophone. And we get the torpedoes. 21s. Grass Bay struggling with flooding issues and goes down. Right. Let's go and deal with the Orion then. A turret. <laughs> Doesn't look like it's uh, damaged. Yeah, just uh, having a bit of a moment. Alright, not trying to escape or anything. Another flooding hit. Flooding hits are good. In terms of damage, yeah. The the 14 inch guns did 461 damage from 9 hits, but the 8s have done only 413 from 122 hits, so yeah. I think we can definitely say that my uh, plan of armouring up against the 8 inch has worked. 14 is a little bit more than I was uh, planning on, but sadly, you can't uh, design the enemy ships as yet. Would be nice if you could uh, you know, specify gun maximum gun calibre or something. Yeah, she has fired torpedoes. There they are. Starting to run a little low on shells, but uh, I think a ship taking on. Uh, well, it was, I was hoping for two Deutschlands and a Shan horse, but uh, we ended up with. Uh, the Germans did have an 8 inch heavy cruiser, but, you know, more standard heavy cruiser design. Two standard heavy cruisers and pretty uh, punchy battle cruiser. Still think it's a pretty fair test. Ryan pretty much dismantled. range for them to be at. Their shells, even at this range, I don't think I'm ready. No, 5%. Yeah, that's not great. And down they go. Well, I think a successful proof of concept, um, an interesting, interesting ship, and uh, be interesting uh, to see if this this type of thing had actually had actually existed, um, how it would have fared. But you know, that's uh, left to, to us alt history uh, people in the far future. Let me know down in the comments what you thought of this ship. And uh, I will see you again soon for some more Ultimate Apple Dreadnoughts. Bye for now.